A lot of people think that this cloud-like substance coming out of here is steam, but it's actually not. Steam is invisible and it's always invisible. So I'm heating up some boiling water here, and that boiling water is producing steam, which comes into this coil. But by the time it comes out of here, it's actually cooled down considerably, and is now at a point where it's starting to form little tiny droplets of liquid. So this cloud you're seeing is not, is not a gas, it's not steam. What it actually is is little bits of liquid water suspended in air. So what we're going to need to show that is we're going to add a Bunsen burner underneath this, which is going to heat up the copper coil. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause the steam to get so hot while it goes through this copper coil that by the time it comes out, it's not going to be able to cool down into the liquid state. And you're going to see this cloud-like substance kind of disappear and instead it's going to be replaced by steam that's so hot that it can't actually cool down until after it's already spaced out far, far, enough, far enough apart that it's just a gas. You can already see that cloud starting to disappear, but by the time it gets out of here, it's cooled down enough that it's still there, and now it looks like the whole thing is gone. So at this point, there's still steam coming out, but now it's staying as steam, and therefore it's staying invisible. And it's also very hot. So what we can do now is we can actually take objects and show that the steam is still coming out. We'll impact these various things. So you can note that I'm not touching the paper to the hot metal itself, but just by holding this, this is going to cause this piece of paper to start to burn. We start with a fresh piece of paper here. You can see that it causes it to burn the paper. And perhaps a little more exciting, Take a matchstick. And using only water, we're able to start a fire using that match. Let's say that one more time. So the phosphorus particles in the match getting struck by the very fast moving steam particles are able to cause those to rearrange and allow the phosphorus to react with oxygen in the air. Then we also have some flash cotton that has oxygen embedded within it, and we'll hold it in front of here. And very quickly it goes up in flame. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit here, just so you can see those one more time. So we have our paper. burning. Matchstick. Let's see if we can get that a little better. And our flash cut. I just turned off the hot plate and the Bunsen burner, and so now what should happen is this should start to cool, and that means that the steam coming out is going to be able to start reforming the liquid state, and we're going to see that cloud reappear in just a little bit of time, because that steam is not going to be cool enough that it can turn back into the liquid state as it comes out of the tubing. Mm -hmm. And so now that it's cooled down, we can see that we have our cloud coming back. And this is, again, liquid particles that are condensing after they've cooled down from coming out of the moving itself.